This is exercise 38.5a, using solid history. I'm in the history file in the Steps Lesson 38 folder. I've turned my gizmos off for now so they don't interfere with things. The show history system variable can be really useful provided the solid history system variable was set to 1 when you created the solid that you need to edit. For that reason, it's probably not a bad idea to leave the solid history system variable set to 1. Solid history set to 1 by default. That's good. Set your show history system variable to 2. Okay. Now, we have a box and a cylinder. I'm going to subtract the cylinder from the box. From the box, I will subtract the cylinder. And you can see that I can see all the way through. Okay, Don't let this little ring up here bother you just now. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, if you select your model, you'll get a ghost image of that cylinder. That ghost image can be useful. Let's clear our grips. I'm going to change my viewpoint a little bit here to see from underneath you can see that the when we did the subtraction the hole now goes all the way through the box okay hold down the control key and select the ghost image of that cylinder okay we can select the downward arrow here and actually move the thing up let's move it 0, 0 0.5 that's nothing on the X and Y directions, but we're actually raising it about half an inch. Like so. Okay, we will restore our previous viewpoint. And you can see that now the hole does not go all the way through. So what we've done is use something that really is no longer part of the drawing in order to go back and edit what we did when it was part of the drawing. Now we can reset the show history to 1 and get rid of the little ghost circle that we had up on top. Okay, save your drawing.